Hey you guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted here in a hot, hot minute. Um, I was posting, I was recording this makeup look and my camera freaking failed. So um, if you are interested in seeing this makeup look, just let me know and I will redo it. Um, it's using some products that I bought at the same time that I purchased the products I'm gonna show you today tonight. Okay, there we go. So I am always on the hunt for new, great indie scents. Um, I've loved many an indie brand in my day. And um, as time goes by, love kind of waxes and wanes. Why do I have this like 80s hair band fringe going on? It's just my life. It's my life. Love kind of waxes and wanes. I'm just going to be in an 80s band tonight. Um, and so things like brands that I loved 10 years ago, I'm not as fond of now. And I'm discovering new brands all the time because there's new brands being discovered all the time. And then there's some brands, you know, that really stand the test of time. One of the brands in the new brands I've discovered categories, fabled fragrances. I don't know how new they are. I don't know how long her shop has been around, but they've been on my radar on Etsy for a while because they make solid perfume. And if you've watched any of my perfume videos, you probably know that I'm a solid perfume junkie. And I think it's really disappointing that more mainstream scents aren't made in solid perfume format, but that there is not really any way to convince perfume houses that more than just one or two people like wearing solid perfume. <sighs> Sad. Anyway, let me go to the shop really quick. I should have done this before I came online. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess you guys just will have get to watch me sit here for a while. So they've been on Etsy since 2011. So it's not a new, new, it's not a new, new shop. Um, but what they do is they sell perfume and cosmetic products, which is why I have um, some of her loose pigment shadows on my eyes, and I have one of her liquid lipsticks on my lips, which I have a whole other review for those things. Um, again, if you're interested, just let me know. That's not the point of this video. But she has a whole bunch of beautifully crafted artisan fragrances and these scents I mean there's honestly this there's a collection of scents here that are really very different than most other indie perfumers and I think that's something really beautiful and unique um they're all themed. So if you can see, there's one called, oh, my camera's not focusing. There's Voodoo. It's called Jack Frost, Dryad, um, Ishtar, Lervert, Lost Oasis. Each perfume is named Incubus. Um, succubus. Each scent is, you know, has a theme, a thematic fragrance. For example, I'm on, there we go, Athenium, which is this one right here. Athenium perfume, paper, leather, powder, Texas cedar wood, and Amazon. I don't know if that's the actual ingredient or if it's just a note. Yeah, Amazon teak wood, it just didn't catch. So Athenium perfume oil, notes, paper, synthetic, leather, synthetic, dust or powder, synthetic, Texas cedar wood, natural, and Amazon teak wood, synthetic. The aroma is a leathery, papery, slightly musty and dusty, woody dry down, and the gender is unisex. Trivia, 
In general, an Athenaeum is an old library or school, but originally refers to the Athene the Ath Athenaeum in ancient Rome, which promoted literary and scientific studies. I think that's so cool. I think it's so unique and so original that these scents are modeled off of like actual, like a theme, like a thematic, something that you can actually like know and learn. Um, the products are all vegan free, vegan free. The products are all vegan, cruelty free, um, nut free, soy free, alcohol free, and phthalate free. It's a really beautiful, natural, and gorgeous scent. And her scents are gorgeous. I picked up two. I have about, let me just, let me just, let me just, I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the scents listed in my Etsy favorites to try the solid scents. Um, that really intrigued me. And I picked two of the ones that were most likely to be scents that I would enjoy to sample. Now, the sample perfume, solid perfumes, are slightly more expensive than the um, perfume oils. So I did purchase them in perfume oil format. Um, the perfume oil did not have an extremely long lifespan, I noticed, not for either of the two scents. One was slightly longer than the other. Um, but what I would probably do is just go ahead and buy the solid perfume because most, the biggest difference between a indie perfume oil and a solid perfume is the format. You're not getting a lot of difference in silage or longevity. So the choices I have are Pirate and Quetzalcoatl. Oh my God, I love saying that. It's like half the reason I wanted to buy that. And I was so glad that it smelled good because then I can buy a whole bottle and tell people what I'm wearing. Um, Quetzalcoatl is described as such. Let me find it. Coffee bean, natural. Cinnamon bark, natural. Peppercorn, natural. Copal resin, natural. Palo Santo, natural. Rosewood, natural. Tonka bean, natural. And cocoa, natural. Spicy coffee roasted beans with a woody base and subtle sweet chocolate gourmand undertones. 100% natural and unisex. Trivia. The Mesoamericans, or more specifically the Aztecs, worshipped the feathered serpent god for many things, including the wind, learning, and knowledge, and arts and crafts. Quetzalcoatl also brought the gifts of agriculture and chocolate to the people freaking fascinating. Like, that's amazing. What's really nice about this one is that it's all like naturally and eth ethically sourced um, ingredients and it freaking smells amazing. So I'm just going to pop some of this Quetzalcoatl onto my hand. I've tried both these scents already so i know how they last how they dry down etc but the moment that with quetzalcoatl the moment you put it on you smell the cinnamon and coffee like boom right away and then as it begins to dry down the scent of palo santo and the copal resin and the cocoa really comes through and you end up with this beautifully woody dry down that's slightly sweet and if you have ever smelled Palo Santo and you know the scent, it's like, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's simply like without words, I could never, I couldn't pick another scent that would even come close to being in this same category of fragrance. Like it's so unique. It's beautiful. The other scent that I have, Pirate, I always want to say private. Thank you. It's always sunny. Um, Pirate, not private, <laughs> is also, I picked Pirate because you know that I love a good tobacco scent, and this particular scent also came with some of my favorite scent components to go with tobacco, namely salt water, rum, and lime. Um, I've talked about the Solstice scent 
fragrance. I can't think of it now, but I'll write it down below. That is my absolute favorite tobacco scent. It's gorgeous. Um, so anyway, we tried Pirate. Pirate. Where? There they go. Cocoa, cocoa, cocoa nut, coconut natural, lime natural, tobacco natural, bay rum natural, bay laurel natural, ocean water synthetic, Texas cedar wood natural, musk synthetic, aroma of a masculine tropical citrus spicy musky like the inside of a ship. It is classified as a masculine scent, but it is not overwhelmingly masculine. Ladies, if you like more of a masculine scent, this could be a really good choice for you. Trivia. One of the most well-known pirates is Blackbeard, who often intimidated his enemies by coiling smoking fuses into his beard. In the era in which he existed, the golden age of piracy, would become the basis of many popular pirate-themed films, plays, and books. So good. Okay. So pirate, not private. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Charlie, for doing that to me. Again, I did already test these. It's got a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, salty rum. If you could put the scent of rum into words, I'm not sure how you would describe it. Rum. A salty rum right away, that's what pops with the lime. Like you get this kind of tangy, outdoorsy, swim up bar kind of feeling. And then as it dries down, ooh, the woods and the musk and the tobacco come out. It's beautiful. It's a really beautiful scent. It's very gorgeous. And I think the inclusion of the um, synthetic ocean water notes and the wood notes bring this to a old, hold on, I'll get back to that. The inclusion of the ocean water and the cedar wood notes, take this to a level, like level it up to, um, it's not just any old tobacco-y, um, Cuban tobacco, blah, 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 scent, rum scent. It's definitely next level. And it's taken there by the craftsmanship of the perfumer for Fabled Fragrances. When the dry down, it starts smelling so rich and so masculine. That's where you really get those notes of just like, I'm a parrot, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, Old Havana is the one from Solstice Scents, and it it is my like bar for um, tobacco scents. And Pirate doesn't quite reach that because there is a lot more than just tobacco going on here. It is a beautiful fragrance. It's in its totally own category. I would not just be like, oh, tobacco scent, oh, a rum scent, like oh, a musk scent, oh, a wood scent. If there's both of these fragrances are so intricately crafted that they can't be classified as just a scent group or component. Like you couldn't just say that Quetzalcoatl is a gourmand and Pirate is a fougere. Like you couldn't, it, they're beyond that. So to wrap this up, I strongly recommend if you are an indie perfume enthusiast or if you want to get into indie perfumes, go to Fable and Fragrances on Etsy and browse their perfume selection. They have a ton to choose from. And you can also order sample packs, variety packs, which I didn't do because I got um, some other products that I'm not talking about in this particular video. But there's so much choice. And these are really, really well made thought out products. They're absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait. I'm definitely going to order a few more samples. I'm going to order a full size of Quetzalcoatl for sure. That's definitely like, that's like number one on my next perfume to order list. Um, and I think that you should give them a check give them a go. Um, I'll put the link to their Etsy shop or to her Etsy shop. It is a girl, Alyssa Wooday. 
um, owner alchemical, alch owner alchemical mixologist. I love that. It's really true. It's like basically what she's doing is creating some sort of amazing alchemy here. Um, yeah, they, she's got all her socials. So I will put that information down below for fabled fragrances. Alyssa, thank you so much for your products. I, I purchased them, but thank you for making them because they're beautiful. And I'm so impressed by the quality and the craftsmanship. So anyway, you guys, that is my review for fabled fragrances on Etsy. Give them a check, give them a go, give them a like, follow the shop, like the shop, and then come back here, subscribe to the channel for more information about et <laughs> information about indie perfumers, niche perfumers, mainstream perfumers, more perfume reviews, more perfume suggestions, more perfume um, ratings, um, and also some makeup videos kind of sprinkled in in the middle of it all. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, um, subscribe notifications, bell, comment, all that, whatever that stuff is. And then don't forget to go and check out Fable Fragrances on Etsy. You will not regret it if you are a perfume fanatic. They're beautiful. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. And I will see you on the next one.